Today we're going to be talking about unit circle angles in all four quadrants. Our goal is to memorize and understand how to get all the radian angles around the unit circle. In the last video, we discovered how to find the quadrant one radian angles, and we're going to use those angles to get all the other angles in the unit circle. So here we have a diagram that shows zero or two pi, pi, and our first angle in quadrant one, which is one pi over six. And remember that one pi over six is equivalent to 30 degrees. So we're gonna move around the unit circle with increments of pi over six. Following that pattern, our next angle would be two pi over six, and then three pi over six, four pi over six, five pi over six, six pi over six, seven pi over six, eight pi over six, 9 pi over 6, 10 pi over 6, 11 pi over 6, and finally 12 pi over 6. Now these angles are not reduced, but once we do reduce them, we get the unit circle angles that we're used to seeing. 1 pi over 6 becomes pi over 6, 2 pi over 6 reduces to pi over 3, 3 pi over 6 reduces to pi over 2, 4 pi over 6 reduces to 2 pi over 3, 5 pi over 6 stays the same, 6 pi over 6 reduces to pi, 7 pi over 6 stays the same, 8 pi over 6 reduces to 4 pi over 3, 9 pi over 6 reduces to 3 pi over 2, 10 pi over 6 reduces to 5 pi over 3, 11 pi over 6 stays the same, and 12 pi over 6 reduces to 2 pi. So now I hope you see that just by using that one pi over six angle, we were almost able to complete the entire unit circle. And now we're just missing four angles. So let's continue with the red angle in quadrant one, one pi over four. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around the unit circle in increments of pi over four to fill in the gaps. The next angle is two pi over four, three pi over four, four pi over four, five pi over four, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and finally 8 pi over 4. And again, these aren't reduced, but after reducing them, we get the pi over 4 angles that we're used to seeing in the unit circle. Let's go through the reducing process. 1 pi over 4 stays the same. 2 pi over 4 is pi over 2, but we already had this angle. 3 pi over 4 stays the same, so it's just 3 pi over 4. 4 pi over 4 reduces to pi. 5 pi over 4 stays the same. 6 pi over 4 reduces to 3 pi over 2, 7 pi over 4 stays the same, and 8 pi over 4 reduces to 2 pi. Here are the angles that we created just by using an increment of pi over 4. Now we can combine these angles with the angles that we created from the pi over 6 increment, and we're done! That's it! That's the entire unit circle! You can build it from just pi over 6 and pi over 4. Now, to truly rock trig, you really want to memorize all these angles. But if you forget, no worries. You can just build them from pi over six and pi over four. And understanding that is key. And that's how you rock trig.